Hi everyone, welcome to the walkthrough video for Lubaki's Music Playground location here in Engage. We'll go ahead and get started by clicking the Start Session button over on the left side of our Engage home menu. Then we're going to go up to this tab at the top left. Your tab might not say Lubaki, it'll probably say the name of the group or organization that you are working with, but regardless of what it says, this is where all of our custom content and locations will live that you will have access to. Then over here on the bottom right, we have our music playground location. I'm going to click it using the trigger button under my index finger. Select just me because it's only me in the session right now. And then here we go. All right, here we are in the music playground concert hall location. You'll see that we have a few different options for things that we can interact with and make music with. We've got our giant piano over there. We've got our chord builder right here. And we've got our synth machine that teaches scales right here. Let's start with the giant piano over here. And we're actually going to use these red baseball bats as we play along. You can pick these up by just walking up to them and then squeezing that trigger button under your index finger. And then you will be able to pick those up. And so once you're picking them up, use your left joystick to move a little bit closer. And then... can play. So a couple things to note about the piano here. With these red bats, anything that I play while I'm holding these is going to be seen by other members of this session. So what that means is if I have multiple people in this session and everybody has a red bat in their hands, whatever they do with that red bat will be seen and heard by everybody else in the session. So that means that you can have a bunch of friends in the location here, and you all can all play music and compose together if you want. Now, if you wanted to play something in the session that only you were hearing, all you have to do is just use your hands for that. And anything that you do with just your hands only you will be able to see and hear. All right, so that is the piano. Let's go over here to our chord builder. And same thing, we've got these bats. And I can walk up and stick them in one of these blocks here. We've got hexagon blocks for the major chords and pentagon blocks for the minor chords. And we've got major and minor chords for all of the notes in the scale. So, a couple things to note here. If I play a chord, the notes that build that chord are going to stay illuminated on this keyboard up here. Now that can be great for seeing what notes make up a chord, but if I wanted to play another chord, now I've got more notes that have lit up and things start to get a little bit confusing. If you want to clear any of the notes that are currently lit up, you just want to touch that white ball on the end of your bats or if you want to immediately clear the notes as they pop up, you can hold on to the bats by these white circles. And if I play this, this G major chord, for example, those notes will stay lit up until I remove the bat from the block. So G major, notes stay lit up. G minor, notes are staying lit up. And now they don't interfere with each other. So I could play some chord progressions 
with my friends. There we go, just like that. And now, in my opinion, the most fun part of this whole location is our synth machine over here. So our synth machine is preset to the key of C, but you can easily change that, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm gonna teleport into this chair, and you'll see now I'm right in front of these bats here. So I've got these bars. that just follow up the C major scale. Now the lower half of these bars is an octave lower of the note, and the upper half is an octave higher. So you could use this to play all sorts of melodies. Whatever you can think of. So if we wanted to change the active key from C to something else, all we need to do, we can grab one of these bats here and we'll just stick it in whichever key we want to set it to. So let's jump to E maybe. And I'll need to teleport back in this seat. There we go. So you'll see now all of our note labels have changed. So all of the notes that we're seeing are in the key of E. And these notes are E major scale. You might also notice that the base of our synth machine here changes color to match that same color of the note in all of the other places that we have it around the location as well. And what I mean by that is in this location, E, the note E, is the color yellow. So if I go back over to the piano here, I get that same yellow color. And so that can help give some visual cues as well. Let's try one more thing here. If I pick C sharp, I've got all of the notes, of course, in the C sharp scale. And we'll see all of these actually have to be written as sharp notes. But if I wanted, for example, to interpret this as D flat instead of as C sharp, I can actually toggle that using this show as flat button. So now this will show up as D flat and all of my note labels will have changed even though they are all still the same notes. So within this environment we've got our big stage here. And then if you are putting on a concert, people can spectate all around the edges, up and down this ramp. So we can go all the way up to the top here and get a great view on everything going down below. 
they would go. What a great place to watch a concert. I'll hop back down to the stage now. If I wanted a little more open-ended location, I can walk up here and hit this Hide Concert Hall button. And now it's just a blank location, the blank stage in a blank location. And that leaves me the freedom to do something like this. I can open up my IFX menu and find a new sky that I might want to load in. Let's do the Milky Way. Oh, I need my spacesuit for this one. Yeah, this is super cool. Now we are playing in space. That concludes our tour of the music playground location. I hope you all have a great time teaching music with this or just playing around with this in your groups and classes.